Alright, what's up everybody? We are here at Amber Lake trying to find the carp. Just reeled in our first common. It has been a long time since I have either fished at Amber or fished for carp. So we will see how this goes. What's up, Amar? No, I'm not tired of being a warden. I'm just kind of taking a break. Honestly, I got called out early for work, and I'm hoping things have finally calmed down, but I just kind of felt like, felt like just chilling and fishing a little bit. No, Bannerlord's great. I may even play after a while if I don't get called out again. I need to mention, I need to thank Lucas Chevy. I'm using a spot that Lucas Chevy mentioned on the RF4 forums. So let me say that for posterity's sake, in case I end up putting this on YouTube. Yeah, I saw there was a patch today. What was I thinking about doing? Oh yeah. They have, uh, they've just about had a patch every day for Mountain Blade too, haven't they? Today's looked a little less significant. Tell me if that's any good. I've um, seen that in my recommendations um, on Netflix, Netflix before and not ever watched it. Isn't that kind of like, uh, not quite, is it sort of similar to Zombies Last Kingdom and it kind of about zombies of some sort? not zombies what am I thinking of this case did it too loosely based on history on how England was started. Oh, that's definitely not what I'm thinking of. I'm pretty sure whatever I'm thinking of had uh, is was made in a um, ah, I'm thinking of just kingdom. Just kingdom, which is probably a very different show. Uh, the Last Kingdom, is that what you said? Yeah. Let me pull that up. Is that multiple seasons? What's up, Zachary? I think Corey. Smallest reel is 8.5, my biggest is 11. Do you think I should be trolling Corey of Volkov? I think Corey. Is Volkov hot right now on trolling? I'm not even sure if it is. Uh, but I've been hearing good things about Corey.
So your biggest is basically equivalent to, that's uh, a little more popular, than, I mean, a little more powerful than a saber, huh? Uh, I definitely think, are they spinning reels? I mean, if they're casting reels, that's a little different, but still, I would say Corey is you're going to be your sweet spot right now. Corey's good money, good XP anyway. I mean, I think it's a good, safe call. The Last Kingdom, huh? Alfred the Great. I saw them first from the beach. What ships? These! We were kings there one point. Our ancestors. I'm just wondering if I've ever seen any of these. Maybe not. I mean, it doesn't look like it. You know, Netflix usually shows you if you've watched part of an episode or something. All right, I'll add that to my list, Amar. That looks good. Three seasons so far, so they're still, you think they're still making new ones, potentially? So the 11 kilo is bait casting. Hmm. Is it this one? It's probably not the one with the, I mean, it could be, but. Um, sounds good, Amar. I just feel like, yeah, I still feel like your sweet spot is going to be Corey still. So the steelheads, somebody was asking me about steelheads on one of my videos recently. I think they said the steelheads are disconnected, discontinued. Is that true? It's kind of sad if that's true. They've always looked like toys to me, but so many good memories with these things. So they are 16 kilo max drag, and they're kind of like comfortable for Volkov, you know? I'm not saying you couldn't do it. I don't know. It does have a counter on it. It probably is that one then. There aren't that many with, with counters. That's a nice reel, and I like to use that reel on Corey. I don't think I would, I don't think I've necessarily, unless I knew I was going to be going to be catching Xander, and I don't think I would, because I have choices. I don't think I would like choose to use that on Volkov if, um, all things being equal. Yeah, I wish I could remember who that was that was asking me about. I'll have to go to the store to figure out the answer, though. Um, Lorenzo says, could you suggest a replacement for the Steelhead 600R since it's discon discontinued? That stinks. Huh. I'll have to look in the store. I don't know. What's up, Rift? Long time no see. 
I was thinking of that burbot spot from our video the other day. Talking about the one at Corey, or you think talking about the one at Donuts? What's up, Koopas? Welcome to the stream. I've been good. I've just basically been, uh, this is my first time streaming RF4 in ages. But I have been playing for just like a couple hours a day. Trying to make a, uh, you know, YouTube series here or video here or there. Staying at home, staying well. Social distancing's right up my alley, to be honest. Oh, the one at Donuts? Yeah, that's a good spot. I mean, especially if you want to, like, during the day, work on leveling up your float fishing. I've had a great time at Donuts. I just had to take a break, and I also figured, like, I need to make a little silver, so I thought I'd see if I can find the carp. Where are the carp at, Rift? Do you have a favorite spot right now? Not like a favorite spot from a week ago, but a favorite spot right now. Uh, I was trying to find my one note, but that's fine. I swear, man. I've had a lot of or uh, several comments lately. I think a lot of them, well, a couple different people, but like Tor, 322 Tor was telling me about catching those rud at Donuts. I have tried and I cannot find reliable rud uh, spot. I get everything but So we're catching fish here, but so far they are small. We'll give it some time though. Nighttime might be better. Look like Bear was blowing up for Kluvi today. Welcome back, Rift. What's your favorite carp spot right now? <laughs> the old Everest 8000. That's right, vintage fishing. A little bit of the new, a little bit of the old, somewhere in between. Wait, did I do that wrong? Is that the new? That's the in between? I guess both of those are actually fairly new, but that's not.
That is definitely not the best looking reel in the game. Three Tagaras. Wow. Why do you say cringe? Because of the uh, cost? Repair cost and stuff? Or what? Or the look of them? Making it without sports rift. <laughs> nope. What do you guys like more, alphas or nargas? There's a decent cafe order, Mouse is saying, for the uh, lake trout, I guess. I think I've, for that size, I think I've only used the alphas and then the gold 80s before that, but I don't think I've used the smaller Narga or whatever it is. I got messed up when they, um, yeah, gold 80s. I got messed up when they, didn't they make it where you can't send gear anymore or something? So like my alt account, that's probably level what, 28 or 30 or something, I had sent tons of stuff too and um, I should log into that account and see if any of that had ever been bought with gold if you can send it they should have grandfathered that in though like I don't know did they even give us a heads up on it or was it just sort of sudden it just kind of screwed me over because I I'd sort of I mean, they're, they're all my accounts, right? Like, I had kind of loaned out some stuff to my alt account, trying different things out or whatever. Thankfully, nothing too expensive, but it's still annoying. Looks like a decent one. Do I have 32? I don't have it overloaded at all, I guess, huh? But I mean, do you really need to with carp? Unless you're just trying to jerk them in real fast, I guess. But this bite rate, this bite rate doesn't make me need to feel like I need to jerk them in real fast.
No, is it good? 144 or what? I haven't tried anything, Rift. And I'm using all mulberry stuff. Which it may not be a good idea. I just saw somebody in the forum was talking about... Um, actually, a couple different people talking about different spots. And a lot of them are using this mulberry stuff right now. Oh. What is it? 144 or what? Do you remember what uh, number and letter it is? I'm just curious if I've ever fished there before. G8. I don't know. I'm not sure I've ever been there. If I have, it's not been a lot. At what percentage should I fix my reels? Oh, mouse, those are tough questions. I don't remember the answer to those questions. It's been a while. You sandwich your way in front of a rock? Is that really? Is that how you fish it over there? Doesn't it say now recommended time to repair? Somewhere, doesn't it say that? All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh my gosh. I just want to send all this stuff back. But it's not going to let me, is it? I'm on my alt account. This is going to be depressing. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to see, the, I, I, don't, I don't know. I've got two mares over here. Some really nice feeder rods. My old original gold 80s. This is so sad. Do you think, and my, my alpha, that's what got me thinking about it, is that I thought my alpha was over on my alt account. Do you think if I put in a help ticket, they would let me, like, send stuff back to my main account? Probably not. You really think so? What am I, what am I gonna do? Sell stuff to myself? And hope no one else notices? That's the only reason why they did that. It's a baby carp. No, is that a, that's a, um, that's a tench. Right? Okay, hold on, there might be a way around. Well, no, the auction house will be for money only, right? And you can't send money between accounts. How could I do this? I don't know. Did I randomly pull up to this spot? No. All credit goes to Russian Fishing 4 Forums, Amber Lake, page four, Lucas Chevy. 
funny thing is the bait and um, like the setup and everything I'm using is actually from somebody else from a different spot but the spot is from Lucas Chevy was that on purpose no I made a mistake I literally crafted my PVA got all the bait set up and then realized that I'm an idiot 12466 huh well, let me know if it still seems decent. Maybe I'll try it after I give this a little bit. Have you also been using Mulberry? Like, is that a thing that everybody's been doing? Or did I just happen to see two people talking about it on the forums? Most of my catches don't show up in chat. Is that normal? They have to be a certain size to show up. Not sure about when to tell you to repair. The game may suggest, suggest certain percentage if you look at tooltip can't remember different people do different and it also matters which part some are repair and some are replace I think this is going to be a decent little fish rift Could have sworn there was somewhere now in the tooltips that show you or t suggest when to repair stuff. I think it might be if you actually go to the building that where you do repair stuff at. It might be in there. That's also why you got targets. This slow reeling trigger triggered you. <laughs> mm. 
How much silver was that to get three Targas? Targaras. How do you say it? Aggressive yeeted them in on Vingas. Just sprint. You sprinted backwards. That's hilarious. This is like the first, uh, first decent size, like more than four kilo carp I've caught in like, I don't know, months. I'm being so careful. You had like 70k, now you have nothing. They're 19 now? Wow. Aren't those comparable to what I have on my first on my first rod? Hey, it's not a common. It's good news, right? Wasn't that the debate? I went back and forth on whether I wanted to get whatever it is that I have or the Targaris. Yeah. All right, that's reasonable. It's a reasonable frame sided. You don't know why no one uses these anymore? I use it. But I feel like, isn't like the stats on it fairly similar? to the Tagara. I left my friction brake off the uh, way high. So this is the one rig that is set up with, um, set up a little different the one that we just caught this third one, the one we caught the big, the big mama on. That's also a decent one. Oh, okay. It is a chod rig. It's the first time that I at least remember using chod rig. The other two are classic pop up. So we'll see. It looks like, from the little bit I'm seeing on the forum, it looks like several people have um, been using Chod Rig recently for some reason. So I don't know if that's a new thing or, or just happens to be two random people using it, but. Someone called a trophy mirror in the small pond. Wow. Okay. How long you plan to fish here for? I don't know. At least one 24 hour cycle, which I think I started at like noon. Um, I don't know. I might come try that spot with you. I don't know. We'll see. Are you, are you going to come try over here? Sure. The only downside of that is I won't be able to see chat. 
Uh, but we can do it for 30. We can do a short one. Yeah. Why don't you just hang out in my chat? Wouldn't you be able to see it that way? Oh, are you wanting to see if the being in the competition changes the server or changes like the fish you're catching? Is that what you mean? Just start it up. I'll join you. Okay, so people do this way different from each other, Zachary, but there's no way that me personally, that I would overload the reels that you were talking about earlier with that strong a line. I just wouldn't do that, but now some people do. Um, I think you're fine with strength-wise at Corey, like, goodness. I feel like I usually spin fish at quarry with like 17 max strength. Uh, yeah, I agree with that rift. I have got like a significant storm that is brewing at my house. I just got an alert on my phone and I now hear the thunder outside a little bit. So. If I suddenly disappear, you'll know that my power has gone off. Yeah, but theoretically at least, the leader is what the fish is seeing, so you're still you're still talking about the like how wide the leader is, so how visible it is to the fish and if your line is that much weaker than your leader, I don't know. I don't think, I think I would do the, still the same size. If anything, make the, if anything, make the leader, um, what am I trying to say? If anything, make the leader slightly less strong than your line. All right, I'm going back to my chat rift, but I'll check the scoreboard every once in a while just to see what you've caught. Don't you agree with that rift? There's no point in using a leader that's bigger than your line, even if you're just doing it to protect the line from pike. There's no upside, right? Yeah, I think that's right. If you're targeting pike, you can try using a steel leader. Or you just focus on trying to get the best bite rate you can and live with the fact that it's a possibility that a pike's gonna bite through. I find in at quarry, especially, if I stay clear of the sides, like near the weeds, I don't tend to hook into pike very often when uh, trolling. I think you can avoid the pike and at least increase your odds of avoiding the pike strategically. So the game shows what you catch in whatever chat you're in, huh? See, I was thinking it was only going to be showing it to the comp chat because that's what I'm used to. But since we're not in the comp chat, it's showing it here, right? So Rift, you caught a 
common. Okay. Because some of the benefit of this spot so far has been heavy with frame sided and a couple linears. Maybe that's what I saw. I saw somebody on the forum talking about, and it might have been that spot, but I think they were saying that the commons had all but disappeared. I mean, the ghosts, common ghosts. And before, I guess they were coming out pretty regularly. Oh, I still have my, there's a frame sided for you. I still have my alt account up because I was trying to see if I could um, if there was anything that I could send back to my main account. See, I feel like back in the day, one of these gold 80s I might have gotten with gold when they used to have that like 75% off gold sales. But I don't know for sure. I just feel like I don't think I'm going to play my alt account much anymore. By the way, yeah, I agree with that advice, Zachary, that Rift has given you. Um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. I take my personal stance is I don't, uh, I don't just give random people. I don't just give stuff away, right? But it is amazing to me if I don't play the game for a little while or like I just logged onto my alt account for the first time in a while. I guess because of my videos on YouTube, like there is no doubt I will have some amount of messages from a variety of people saying, um, Send, send casting setup, please. <laughs> or uh, I need cart mix, please hurry. Or um, night crawlers are sold out, send them to me, please. And you know, like, and that's the first time they've ever sent me a message. You know what I mean? It's just like. Yeah, so Zachary, I typically. If you look, a lot of times the leader size, if, even if you're not making your own leaders, will like be less than a gram all, or less than a, oh no. <laughs> I have a feeling. I just have this feeling. They'll be pretty close to, the, they'll be slightly weaker than the line. That's what I usually do. I think we should do a test. I think someone should send a message to every person that plays the game. Like, is there a way you can search every single name of account holder? What would be really great is if you could only search premium players, right? And, um, and ask every person for 
you know, nothing like too expensive, but oh wow, look how cool. <laughs> our results are like identical. And then just like at the end of the day, see how much stuff you've gotten. It's almost like that, what was it, the uh, paperclip thing, like trading up a paperclip? Uh, Alright, let's try to... Holy line, Batman. So your rod strength should be the biggest by a decent margin, like not just by a little bit, but by a decent margin. And then your reel, and then your line can be just like right up to the strength of your reel, unless you're going to overload it. And then your leader should be just under your line strength so that you're not damaging your gear more than you need to. And if something snaps. It's not an expensive snap, it's a cheap snap. The higher the quality reel, what Rift is saying, the higher the quality of the reel, the more you can likely get away with um, overloading it a little bit. Somebody just caught an eight kilo Xander. I'm about to pull away, Rift. I'm gonna pull away here. Fabric and reel this in. You know my slow reeling. Yeah, that's right. If you're in a boat at Cory, you shouldn't get spooled. King Shark just called an eight kilo Xander. That is insane. It's a nice Xander. All right, does it say in the description, like, if it can be sent to players? Or do you just have to try it to see? <laughs> You could go watch every Lakers game. <laughs> Alright, as much as as much as it will let me send back to this account, I'm gonna send it back to this account, but I don't think it'll be much, if anything. I could, you know, it's possible I'll play my alt account again, but secretly part of my motivation for playing my alt account, which is level twenty nine by the way, was that I had two accounts making money at the same time. It was a little more exciting streaming it because there's more fish coming in. And I could always use my alt account to buy something for my main account every once in a while. Well, that's done now. Unless I'm just going to buy like bait and crap and then send it. I mean, it's a lot more tedious to really take advantage of that. So it's kind of a bummer. Now, if the alt account if the auction house allows you to like sell something for a hundred silver, but you can mark on there, like only sellable to this player, then yeah, we're back in business. But somehow I doubt that will be the case. How many fish are you going to catch before I get this fish in rift? This really does real slow, doesn't it? I mean, it's powerful. Like, there's nothing the fish can do about it. It's coming in, but it's not coming in till tomorrow. What's up, John? How are you doing? I think this spot's going pretty good. The dragging technique, yeah, that does work good. As long as I don't lose the fish. Dang, it just swam away from me. I couldn't even... Got to get more aggressive in my dragging, I guess.
Thanks for coming by and saying hello. I appreciate it, John. <laughs> you gotta fight these like it's game seven, seriously. What are you uh, working on mod stuff for? I hope you do get a trophy frame here, Rift. I will say that my best fish have all been caught on Chod rigs. That third one is set up for Chod. Have you used the Chod rig yet? I don't even have points in it. Is why I didn't do all three on there. Oh, oh, I got you. Mod for one of your friends who's streaming. I got you. That makes sense. It's the one rig you don't have points in? That's hilarious. Have you tried it yet, though? Like, have you used it? I'm not going to put points in it because it's just like the flavor of the month, probably. I mean, it's not like it'll be the go-to rig for the rest of Amber Lake. I think I keep casting farther and farther right here. The idea is more like this not like that i get my eyes get drawn to that dock the pe the thing over there but really i should be doing like that yeah i have no points in chad but i do have seven points available the thing is i kind of want to save those points because i have no points in float fishing and I'm starting to enjoy it now that I've got match rods opened. So I sort of want to hang on to a few points just with not being sure what I want to do. Yeah, I like classic pop-up a lot. It's still broken? Like, what do you mean it's broken? It's not working good? All right, so Rift, how do I tell if something can be sent? If you go to a reel, where will it say? Like, will it say can be sent to players? Oh, is that right? Any rigs with boilies, it just sinks? Oh, I didn't know that. You gotta sit the baits on the bottom for the float to float. I did not realize that. So items you can send will say that they can be sent. Because if I'm going to send stuff from my alt account, I got to do like one day of premium over there. So I need to see if it's worth it. But without premium, you won't know. Yeah, I'll, ch I'll check it out. They should also, I know this would be a little weird to write this into the code. But they should put it where, like, if you're returning something to an account that has sent that item before, you should be able to send it back to that account. The items you can send will show up in gold text below where. Below where. All right, one of these big reels I sent with... Uh, I sp Oh wait, I'm gonna have to have it out of the water, aren't I? It was there? Wait, what? Oh, it is possible. Okay, okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. And that's even like low level stuff, right? You can't even send low level stuff, right? All right, so under. Wait. Can be used. Can be used. Can be used. <gasps> this item can be sent. Okay. I didn't even buy this item. This item was traded to me, but apparently it can be sent. Broken game. Oh, come on. It's not going to let me send any of these golds. At least one of my mares, though. Huh. For some reason, this one can be sent. I mean, okay. There's no way that rod was bought with gold, though. You know? Every single item that you can send, even like down to lures and line and stuff, it will say it. So like anything you look at in your inventory, if you pull up a line and you go over the, the mark here, it'll say it is possible to send this player to another player. What's broken, John? Hey, you're hanging in there, Rift. My sp this spot's not that much better in terms of total weight, at least. I would have thought that I would have, like, gotten way ahead because I've been catching fish pretty consistently recently, but you're hanging in there. The quality of the fish may be a little different, but... I also think this spot just did a lot better at night and then early morning, it seemed like. The only thing I would really be sending, I mean, I've got a ton of hooks I could send. That would save some money. Some of these nice hooks. I never really did lures. I do have... A few boilies and stuff. I don't know if I'm worried about that though. The big thing is probably the mayor. So that if I had to put one of these, one of my um, reels into the shop, but still wanted to fish for something like carp, I'd have an option. The thing that stinks is none of the gold 80s. I've got my three gold 80s on this account. I think one of them I actually bought on this account with silver, but the other two I bought on this account, on my main account. And I'm pretty sure one of them was with gold back in the day. I think that was the first thing I ever bought with gold. Um, I felt like I was never going to be able to get, be able to afford gold 80. So I bought one with silver and one with gold. Like I kind of made a deal with myself. But none of them are showing up that they can be sent. So... Either it's a mistake or I'm remembering wrong. I think that's right, Rift. I bought one with silver, one with gold, and uh, couldn't use them yet, right? Yeah, I think that's right.
Now, what I could do if I really wanted to, if they do come out with Auction House and I really wanted to purge some of the more valuable stuff off my alt account and send it to my main account, is I could sell stuff on the Auction House and then buy something way overpriced from my alt account to my main account to get the silver. I'd probably lose some percentage of it, but that might work. It depends on how they do the auction house, really. I just didn't ever think there would come a time that I wouldn't be able to, with premium, that I wouldn't be able to send stuff back and forth between my main two accounts. It's mostly just for nostalgia though. Like it makes me sad. I genuinely love those Saber 60s and to a degree, lesser degree, but to a degree, the gold 80s, the Alpha 8000, to not have those on this account is just kind of depressing, but it would be such a waste to rebuy them. <laughs> I'll get over it though. Look at this Everest doing work. Heck yeah, man. We've caught some decent carp. It started off a little slow, but it has picked up. Yeah, that's probably going to do it, right? Puts it out of reach. Yeah, you were keeping up till I saw that. All right. So according to the tooltip, literally the only reel I can send is one of the two mayors. So sad. And then randomly, I have three bonus and pickers on my alt account. And one of them, it says it's possible to send. I didn't buy that picker with gold. I don't remember if I traded for those pickers or if I saved up for them. I probably traded for them, but I'm not sure. And those wind gates, man, those wind gate feeders, I used those forever back in the day on my main account. So do I want to go ahead and send my mayor? I mean, I guess there's no rush. Like, I'm just going to log out of that account for now. Maybe we'll get a free weekend of premium or something. Got another one, huh? Another couple of them, maybe.
<laughs> What's up, Reavers? How was The Last Kingdom, Episode 1, Season 1? <laughs> You're funny, Reavers. It was great. Awesome. Yeah, I got to check that out. <laughs> M-Dog is Prezi. <laughs> what? It was brutal in part, Samar. You would like to watch more? I hear there's three seasons, Reavers. I haven't decided for sure, Reavers. Um, <laughs> COVID drove me back to RF4. I'm at a really interesting place in my campaign on Bannerlord, though. I have... Um, I've got some shops and like trade caravan set up. So I've got passive income going again. I've just got to, um, I kind of want to get uh, married and have a child. Ooh, fish got away. So that once I join up with a kingdom and start participating in the big wars and stuff, if my character dies, my campaign's not over. So I may try to figure out if I can figure out those systems and figure out how to do that before I push forward and the rest of it. Reduce the fishing and I'm watching. <laughs> you never know when you'll get executed. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm in a really safe place right now. No one hates me. The, none of the like bandits or whatever are too strong to put me at risk. But when I start moving forward and taking chances on trying to set up my own faction, I need to have like a plan B, AKA an heir. You got a common ghost? Nice, Rift. <laughs> oh, goodness. About to choke. Make some friends first, then you can turn them. Like convince them to join your side 
if you have a really good rep with them. Oh, I need to keep working on my charm skill by bartering or um, my dude's going to be a bachelor forever. Don't know that he could charm anyone right now. Oh yeah, I never have tried your strategy at Tabulet yet. I kind of forget about that. Six every time you win. Nice. Daggum rift. Nice frame sided. Thunder rolls. Didn't Netflix come out with something like official where you can watch Netflix together? I mean, I know there's been other other ways already, but I don't know. I might have made that up. I thought I read an article recently talking about with the COVID thing. Somebody did something where Netflix, like, it was easier for people to watch Netflix together. going on with this fish
Well, the bite rate has certainly picked up all of a sudden. Although I also feel like the commons have picked up. Let's see if that's accurate. One, two, three. Not really. One, two, one, two. One, two. I guess it slightly has. We've got three in two lines versus two in two lines before. But the bite rate overall has certainly increased. It's time of day, I guess. <laughs> These little fish. Is that a thing, Netflix party? Is that a true thing? through Chrome. It even syncs it up for you. That's awesome. That's really cool. I assume the, like, whatever you're going to watch still has to be available, 
like in both regions or whatever, but it's still very cool. frame sided it looks like Another one. Oh, it's a mirror. Is Kluby streaming on YouTube? He signed like an exclusive deal with YouTube or something when I wasn't looking. Is Spasma playing RF4 again? Interesting. Another nice frame rift. Are you still at your other spot rift or did you join the dark side?
still at your spot. It took a hit with the uh, reset. J7. Dang, travel much? You take an airplane out to that spot. I'm so curious what Spasma is fishing for. He's at Donuts River. <laughs> that quad will get you there, won't it? Is he using bait fish? He is using bait fish. So, oh, he's going for the beluga or whatever there, isn't he? I bet that's what he's doing. Beluga fishing, okay. I'll turn that off. Has it has Beluga been any good there? I thought they were better at other maps. I thought that's what I'd heard. Got nerves still there though. So what do you think's coming next in RF4 Rift? Auction House? You think we'll see Auction House before another map? That Donuts map came out of nowhere for me. They're different species to the normal beluga, so that's why he's there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Where do you get your info these days? No Discord. The forums aren't that uh, active. Heavy bait casters. Yeah, they were a little a little premature premature in uh, teasing us with that, weren't they? I still don't get why they shut down Discord. I really liked their Discord. It was so easy for people to talk and share information. Oh, really? Amber wasn't even what they were supposed to release when they released Amber? Huh. Mm. Mad Space Mouth says, for feeder fishing, for feeders where I put the ground bait, do the bigger ones scare the fish away? Hmm.
I um Be cool if they added bass fishing. Do you think that's on the magic board of future plans? Heavy bait casting, does that mean that we're going to get some sort of like salt water or brackish water or something? Or would you put heavy bait casting in the game but still just have fresh water? I mean, I guess Ladoga was kind of like a step in that direction, right? I don't know. My spot dried up. How long has it been since I caught a fish? Only three minutes? It seems like half an hour. Yeah, I guess they would make sense for the beluga stuff, wouldn't they? That's a good point. More sturgeon on jigs. Would that be more true to real life? I know nothing. I'm going to start throwing ground bait in a second, though. <laughs> mole crickets wouldn't be quite so good if it was supposed to be realistic huh <laughs> that's funny yeah I wish the economy worked completely different Do you mean that in a positive way? That like old school fishing planet had the best economy? Huh. I don't know what it was like, I guess. I, I don't know. I mean, I played RF4 before I played fishing planet, so I don't know anything about old school fishing planet, I guess. If I did play Fishing Planet before RF4, it was just like for a second. I'm, yeah. I pretty much play. I mean, I played a lot more RF4 than I didn't really even know about Fishing Planet at that point. Oh, you mean like realistic prices. So it was like. 180 bucks to travel to Michigan instead of 12,000. I got gotcha. you. You can't get into fishing anymore, John. You keep trying. Whatever happened to the Fisher? Fisher's still going along. I think he's still doing a lot of updates to that game. I think there was some controversy back not too. I don't even fully know what it was about, but it had something to do with like a paid DLC that was maybe gear or something. And then, but then he, he got, I think he got a lot of pushback and took it out of the game or something. 
You tried to get back into Fishing Planet, but you couldn't do it. I tried to get into Fishing Planet myself, and I really couldn't do it either. If I play another fishing game long enough, it eventually just makes me miss at RF4. But, oh yeah, for sure. The Fisher is definitely still early access. I mean, he's still adding... RF4 is still early access for that matter, technically speaking. But it's like, it's more of a lifestyle choice to be in early access, not a real reflection of things. So he pulled an arc. I think mostly people that play the Fisher online would have really positive things to say about it. I was actually surprised that there was any controversy at all because it's been such a well-received project. But it's just, you know, there's a lot of content in RF4. There's been a lot of development, so it's a, it's a big task. <laughs> Reavers. Uh... Speak of another fishing game unless RF4 fixes itself. What, what, uh, oh my gosh, I'm pushing the wrong button. What, uh, what part in particular needs to be fixed, John? All that work for a common carp. Yeah, I wish there was I wish there was no such thing as gold baits in RF4. I think the fish bite in RF4 to me is one of the selling points. Like I like the way f the fish work in RF4 more than any other fishing game. I don't know why, but there's something when I'm playing Fishing Planet that just feels so artificial or so I don't know what it is, but it gets to me after a while. And for whatever reason, I don't have that feeling with RF4. In my opinion, if you could raise an army and take over the map while having diplomatic relationships and maybe marriage and kids, the plus, so they should do that. Yeah, they could add some of that to Amar. That'd be good. Some cam a campaign, full story, quest line. That sounds like a good plan. All right, we're at 48 fish. We've, I've made it longer than I thought I would. Mountain Blade. I'm so impressed with the job they did on Mountain Blade 2. It is so good. I think he was talking to Amar there, Rift. Are you still playing that same campaign or have you started over, John? Did that one campaign you started the other night, did that stick? You're about to start throwing your Adriaticals. <laughs> Get Pindor Prophecy. Oh, yeah, for Pindor Prophecy for Warband 1. 
for now. I didn't play yesterday. I did other games. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, um, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably do Mountain Blade Two tomorrow. If I have, uh, I will be able to stream tomorrow night. Actually, I'm not on call, so I'll be able to stream. I'll do Mountain Blade Two tomorrow night. You heard it here first. I really am ex still so excited about that game because like where I left off last night, I'm just at a real critical point where like I'm about to sort of enter into mid game that this is just like completely different game in some ways. It's so fun, but I don't want to do it as haphazardly this time. So I'd like to have some, some things in place a little better. How long do you think till those kind of mods are available in mountain blade two or more? I want to see what that's like, what that mod is about. But I think I'm going to upload this to YouTube. And so I don't want to do anything until I'm at a stopping point. So maybe at 50 fish, I'll go sell the fish and call it a night in terms of the fishing and wrap things up. You just got to figure out how to make peop make enough people put them in a castle. <laughs> Still have all my knights for my army. <laughs> I just want to look up and see what, uh, I guess I can look on this screen, but I was going to show y'all. I wonder if there's like a, if anybody's made a trailer for what Pinder, um, Pinder Prophecy adds. I should do some Hearthstone gameplay for you sometime soon, Reavers, because there's so much single player stuff I hasn't done, haven't done, and you know I love single player Hearthstone content. There is like zero point zero chance that I want to start playing multiplayer Hearthstone right now. I'm so out of the loop, but that single player stuff is really fun. Save prisoners and recruit them to your army. Oh, like in terms of getting free without having to pay for them? Is that what you mean? But you still have to pay their daily wage, right? Or is it different in the old one? That fish don't count. I know that's fish number 50, but we're about to cut it up for fish pieces. I've been saying, <laughs> well, I'd like to think that you come here to hang out with all your friends, Reavers. Not for my boring fishing content. <laughs> I come for the fish. Oh man. It's good stuff. Hearthstone is as boring as League of Legends now. Yeah, but we could still do like we could do like an hour or two of uh single player Hearthstone content. Turn on some um some matchbox, whatever it's called. We'll do a reverse. We'll do a reverse stream one of these nights. Uh oh. Here comes the rift sarcasm. Do you still play League of Legends, Rift? You still play at Reavers? Wow. That's awesome. I haven't played Rocket League in forever.
You talking about Rocket League? Some casual Rocket League? I'm not sure if I have ever... Let's see. Let me think about this. I'd have to look at my Steam account. I can't remember if I've ever played it on the PC. I played it on the PS4 with my kids and stuff, you know? Who are your favorite League of Legends characters, Rift? You know what? I play with my kids a ton. And it's like, it's something I wouldn't play by myself, but when I'm playing with them, we have a great time. My kids are pretty young, but I mean, not super young, but is Fortnite. Nintendo Switch Fortnite sessions. I hated that. I mean, I didn't ever really play it much, but I, I hated the idea of the game until I played with my kids. And then it was like really fun. Hey, um, I wish I could stream me playing Fortnite with my kids. That would be a fun time. Um, <laughs> get out, get out. Hey, Rift, have you ever played Smite? I have a rule in Fortnite, though. No building allowed. I almost never build. Unless it's to get somewhere, I guess that's okay, but we don't build in fights. <laughs> yeah, that's about when I played it too, Rift. That's hilarious. I was seven. I really, really liked Smite back in the day. I just don't know that I could get into it. I hear it's kind of just so different now. Unfollow, unsub. <laughs> Y'all should like team up and play LOL together. LOL. That's what I need to do. I need to get... And I'll tell you who would play Smite with me if I begged him to is, is uh, Draka. Big Draka would probably play a Smite game night with me one night just to see what it's like. See if I can remember how to play. I'd have to find my old login though. I think I have all of the characters unlocked. Like back in the day you could get... Like for 15 bucks when it first came out, you got all current and future characters or something like that. You also play Smite Reavers? You'll play Smite with me? Wait, hold on. You'll play it with me? We just play arenas or whatever they're called. He would actually enjoy it and complain about it all at once. Who, Draka? Yeah, probably so. Oh, I don't care. Reavers. I haven't played it in like 10 years. That's not true, but it's been a long, 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 long time. Yeah, but I, I don't know how to play League of Legends. You don't want me to play League of Legends. At least in Smite, I can trick my brain into thinking I'm playing an MMO. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm playing this MMO, but I don't have any quests, and I can't go anywhere because I'm supposed to stay in my lane. I'm going to totally download Smite on Steam. If I can find my old login, though. Your lane is your quest. I love it, Amar. Good call. Good redirect. Good reframe. I like it. I'm always called out and have no peel. Aren't there characters that have pretty good escape? I play Changa all the time. I love Changa. She was like a uh, healer support. What am I doing? 
I don't need to quit, keep casting up. I need to wrap it up. <laughs> Are you excited about uh, excited about Valorant? Have they said when they're gonna do like open beta or let really let more people in? That's so funny, John. Y'all are like making me wanna like really try to get good at Smite again. Yeah, it's it is like CSGO, but it's got some ability like the characters have have a few abilities. But it, it, it looks, I think, and I assume it would feel a lot like CSGO. Report Kluby stealing my ghosties. Was he in your spot? He can't be stealing your ghosties if he's somewhere else. Well, you're going to love Valorant, aren't you, Rift? You and John are going to love Valorant. I'm literally about to go download Smite. What are y'all doing to me? CSGO and Apex or Overwatch, whatever fits your style. Yeah, but I feel like if it is part CSGO and Apex or not really Apex, maybe oh, it's not really Overwatch either. I feel like it's just more towards CSGO than whatever it is you're comparing it to, right? It's on the CSGO side of that spectrum. No, 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 no. Yeah, the graphics might be, but the I haven't played it, so I'm to talking out of total ignorance. But the way it plays, at least the way it looks like it plays, to seems more like CS:GO to me than anything else. It's got the ropes like Apex; you can jump up a floor. Oh, okay. That would be cool, Lamar. Co-op mode on Bannerlord would be cool. How come they can't mod that? Hey, there's a mirror cop, or, mirror cop, mirror carp order. How long does it have? Oh, tons of time. 97 hours. It's an easy one too. Nothing else though. 